ass like I'm Kanye. I'm putting in that work, cool to Kente. Guys, what's up? We are back again. Death Battle has returned, and you guys already know I bring the early reactions. Uh, so yeah. If you do not want to be spoiled, wait until tomorrow to watch this reaction. If you don't care, whatever. There's already spoilers online anyway about who won the battle, but I'm just going to react to it today. Guys, it's great to be back. It is the season 10, I don't know if you could say the season 10 premiere or returning premiere of Death Battle. The 100, this is the 170, this is 100, this is the 172nd episode. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, for Death Battle. It has been a long, long time. I'm glad that we're back, and we have Ant-Man versus Adam. Who are you guys going with? The Battle of the Little Men is here. The molecular gentlemen shall fight to see who reigns minusculely supreme. And before we even get into this, I just read up on certain feats that they both have done. Bro... Ant-Man, Hank Pym, and Adam, Ray Palmer, are supremely under uh, they're supremely underrated, very underutilized in their depictions on screen and in cinema. Seriously, they are vastly underused in certain aspects. I also even looked at the 10 things that make them that are the biggest differences between Adam and D uh, Marvel's uh, Ant-Man and DC's Adam. Which basically you have, they're saying that number 10, Ant-Man's suit is less advanced. So number 10, that is Ant-Man's suit is less advanced. And I'm just going to go just the top 10 things that make them very different. Number 9, that Adam has a galactic origin. And I didn't know that, that's crazy. Number 8 is that Ant-Man and Adam use different fighting styles. Exactly, so when it comes to combat... It, who, it also lies on who has the most superior fighting skill or the better fighting style. Uh, number seven, Ant-Man shrinks and grows. That's one thing. Because I think, um, doesn't Ray Palmer, uh, Adam, he just gets small. He doesn't grow big. So, basically, you could say Ant-Man has that advantage. But, but Ray Palmer is still powerful in his uh, molecular size. Uh, Ant-Man partners with the Wasp, yes, yeah, so, Adam doesn't have a partner, so I don't know if Death Battle will utilize all these um, aspects and feats. The thing about it is um, it all depends on the versions that they use for each of uh, whatever comic they're going to use. I know uh, Adam was one of the first Silver Age comic book characters, heroes or whatever, and they said that Adam has more abilities when shrunken down. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know, I don't know if in recent... Um, uh, recent versions of Adam that he becomes bigger and guys let me know is Adam Smasher different from Adam because I know Adam Smasher isn't he supposed to be like the nephew or he's related to Adam to where the point does his suit can get bigger so or, or he he grows I don't know if Ad Adam Smasher or Adam have any you know relation in that but watching you know when I watch Black Adam they said Adam Smasher was or he is the nephew of uh, Adam, I don't know if it's true to the comic, something like that, but they're related. And it says that not every Ant-Man is a scientist. All right, dope, exactly, because you can see with Scott Lang, I don't know if he's um, authentically depicted from the comics, but you can see Scott Lang, the, mo the dude ain't no scientist. <laughs> he's just uh, uh, under the uh, under the table type of guy. He's a good criminal. He's smooth, but he's not a scientist. That goes to the original Ant-Man, Hank Pym. He's one of the smartest men in the universe, so the Adam can fly with to whereas Ant Man has to use um because he's ants flying or you know, flying ants to get around. And then it says Ant Man talks to insects, that is another feat for him. And then the Adam is built for microscopic work. So I just wanted to get through that list just to refresh my mind before we get into the analytics. And the research that um, Death Battle has for us today. I'm super excited to be back, guys. And again, if you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys like the new setup that I have for the Death Battle Realm. I'll be switching it up, uh, doing new camera overlays and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to hop into this. Guys, let me know in the comment section who do you guys have off rip before we even get into this. I'll be honest here. If it's Hank Pym 
Ant-Man, which I assume they're going to be using, you know, the original, who's Hank Pym. I think Ant uh, Hank Pym is going to have this. Again, if they're using Hank Pym, or if it's Scott Lang, I would say... If it's going to be Scott, I would say uh, Adam has it. If it's going to be the original, Ant-Man, Hank Pym, I think Hank Pym will have this battle in the bag. I don't know much about Adam, so that's why I said let me look at these feeds first before I revitalize and give a final answer. So let's hop into it, guys. And again, this is Corvantes Coliseum. Welcome. We are back with Death Battle Reactions. Let's hop into it. Yeah, just get it. <laughs> Why is he so smart off rip, first of all? At three? Both of his parents' brains combined? Aunt Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> the bagel bites. Yes. 
really Eternity deemed him scientist of supreme. But he simply didn't care and kept pushing himself. Thus, his greatest and worst creation was war. Ultron. All these strings. Hey man. Not just by ways of his scientific contributions or victories in battle, but by proving that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. So far, it looks like Hank's got this dude. So let me just pause this real quick. Um, dude, those feats from Hank, uh, they're they're nothing short, but God tier. The man created Ultron, which again, I really wish. I know that the cinematic uh, span uh, span of Marvel on the big screen had to change things, but bro, Hank Pym is just so intellectual. He is so powerful in the brain. Dude created Ultron. He he went he went so huge that he met eternity and eternity even deemed this man scientist supreme. Like, bro, those are those are huge feats in themselves, dog. And he has created different alter egos, Yellow Jacket, Gigantic Man. Um, he is the one of the founders of the Avengers. Like, bro, he is an integral part of Marvel. I didn't know he was that big of a player in the universe. Again, if you don't read the comics, you just won't know how big these uh, characters are. I really wish, when it came to Ant the Ant-Man movies, that we just... I wish they just started out with us introducing us to Hank, bro. Because them having Tony Stark and Bruce Banner create Ultron, honestly. Like, they really switched up a lot of the lore between the comics and onto the movies. But, so far, dude, Hank... He he looks like he might win this bro because that those are some huge gigantic feats but let's see what that let's see what Adam Ray Palmer is bringing to the table let's get into his story
Don't talk about convenient. That sucks. What's most impressive is Ray's creation of the bio belts. That's what allows Adam to use the power of the white dwarf and shrink while maintaining any weight from immaterial to his full 180 pounds. There's even been times where it's stated that he was able to become almost as dense as a white dwarf star itself for a few seconds. The belt is also how he can travel through phone lines or through the air on currents or light beams. Over time, Ray has spread out the white dwarf power to other parts of his suit, and now the bio belt acts as a utility belt for his shrunken weapons and tech. It also prevents his size or mass from being altered by any outside forces. And while he can only increase his size back to a natural six feet in height, his ability to shrink is near limitless. He can travel between subatomic space to the microverse, the foundation of all reality in the DC universe, where atoms become the size of planets. Typically, he can wow. increase back to his normal size with such force he can smash through diamonds. So if Adam increases his size too much while still within the microverse, he could blow up the entire fabric of reality from the inside out. Shrinking down to that size means that he can shrink small enough to rearrange atoms themselves. Yep, Ray can take individual molecules and rapidly expand them to cook up a small nuclear blast in the palm of his hand. Oh, Ray Palmer. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> He's Brandon Ralph. He was an exceptional Superman. He was, he was amazing as Superman, dude. No lie. Wow. Okay, so impressive feats as well on the part of Adam, but I just feel like I'm ultimately just gonna give this to Ant Man. Gonna gotta give it to Hank Pym. Those feats with Eternity, him even creating Ultron, him having his multiple personalities, he is so smart that he is destructive to all humanity. 
literally. Like, I like um, Palmer. He has he has amazing feats as well on the on the molecular level. But dude, when it comes to Hank Pym, just all those feats that he's done, and how destructive he is, because how intellectual he is. I just feel like he's gonna be too much for he's gonna be too much for Palmer. That's what I think. Uh, we'll go with the battle, but I'm gonna go with Hank Pym, to be honest. I'll be surprised if Adam wins. He might win by a small chance, bro. But but all the art, but the every, but dude in the brain, Hank has it. But I don't know. I would say you know Adam might win because if he might have extra uh, plus abilities. But when it comes to that cranium, just Hank Pym is more smarter than than Ray Palmer. Period. So let's let's see what it's about, guys. Let's see who's gonna win this battle. And again, if you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's watch this death battle: Ant Man versus Adam. <laughs> You're using pieces of a white dwarf star? <laughs> That's cute. Everything you needed already existed. You just needed to be smart enough to put the pieces together. Scientist Supreme? There's a bunch of ants. Oh snap, he's got a sword. Oh my god, he's sick. He's slaying the ants. <laughs> oh, his, yeah, his energy manipulation field. That is crazy. I had no idea Hank had that, dog. Microverse. All right, Hanky, you, he's giving it to you. space oh there's eternity you can't be afraid to think again. Huh? oh my god <laughs> that's the same <laughs> Hank is too much it's too much
Yeah, it's built. Every two weeks this year, man. It's a lot of good uh, stuff coming. Alright, what's the next battle, guys? Who is it? Who's that? So you got Dark, Sco Dark Souls versus Skyrim. I don't know much on that, guys. I, I didn't play. I never really played Skyrim that much. I played it a little bit, and I never played Dark Souls at all. But I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. But guys, there you have it, Ant Man. This guy right here, he is declared the winner. <laughs> yeah, but that was a very interesting death battle indeed, man. The wits and the molecular feats, man. But, dude, everything that they said about Hank, I just know he had it in the bag. He was just too much for for Adam. Too much. Feats-wise, uh, intellectual-wise, uh, intellectual -wise, I think Hank is just still smarter. And he just has a uh, more array of abilities, as well as the ants, his, his helpers, too. So, But, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. If you're new to the channel, again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like, go ahead and hit that notification bell to be notified as soon as I drop my videos. I'm this close to 900. I have eight more subscribers left to get to that 100 and that 900. And then soon we'll be to the 1,000 subscribers, and then we're going to be on that. So, guys, thank you so much again. I really hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to this death battle of Ant-Man vs. Adam. And I'll see you guys next time on the next Death Battle reaction. And I'll see you guys next time as well on any regular reaction. And don't be shy, guys. Talk to me in that comment section. Give me some suggestions on stuff you want me to do, to react to, to talk about. This channel is for everything, for everyone. So don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hit me up in that comment section. And I'm going to pin my new... You're going to hear my new song that I have out right now. It's called Kanye. I'm going to put it for my intro, my outro for this video. So, guys, let me know if you're, you know, if you enjoy, uh, you know, rap music or uh, basically you're a connoisseur of lyrics. Let me know in the comment section if you guys uh, enjoy the little parts, the snippets that I put in here. My full song is on SoundCloud, and it's soon going to be on Spotify and all platforms. I'm working out uh, doing a, a deal with this real kid so I can distribute my music. I have a lot of music on the way as well. So, guys, let me know, man. Hit me up in that comment section. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm about to blow. Nuclear explosion. It's time to let it go. Like that Disney movie Frozen. My neighbor's at the door yelling, what's all that commotion? Too much on my brain. I think I need an ibuprofen. Been working all my life. I think it's time for a promotion. Hocus pocus baddies in the kitchen whipping potions. Super califragilistic SBLadocious. Shorty threw it on me and those clappers look ferocious. Took her to the crib and then I gave her scoliosis. No need for Viagra. I deliver good performance. I can't show no mercy. You can call me Johnny Lawrence. Damn, I killed this beat. Give the producer my condolence.